adjective clauses part 2 adjective clauses part 2 上一堂我們看過 adjective clauses 中 subject pattern clauses 今堂我們繼續講 object pattern clauses using adjective clauses object pattern clauses in addition to subject pattern adjective clauses, there are also object pattern ones. They have this name because in them, the relative pronoun replaces the object of the clause. Take for example, the person called me. We met the person at Jack's party. Implies the person whom or that we met at Jack's party called me. The sentence with who or whom has an adjective clause. Who or whom we met at Jack's party. In the clause, who or whom is the object, but the clause modifies, describes, explains and specifies the subjects of the sentence, the person. Example 2 I enjoyed talking to the person. We met the person at Jack's party. Implies, I enjoyed talking to the person whom or that we met at Jack's party. Again, the sentence with who or whom has an adjective clause. Who or whom we met at Jack's party. Who or whom is still the object of the clause, but here the clause modifies the object of the main sentence, the person. Example 3. The trip was quite interesting. I took the trip last week. Implies, the trip that or which I took last week was quite interesting. The sentence with that has an adjective clause that I took last week. In the clause, that is the object and modifies the subject of the sentence, the trip. Example 4. I enjoyed the trip. I took the trip last week. Implies, I enjoyed the trip that or which I took last week. The sentence with that has an adjective clause that I took last week. In the cross, that is still this object. The cross modifies the object of the sentence, the trip. Here is some notes to remember. 1. Adjective clauses come after the nouns that they modify. It's wrong to write as the person called me who or whom we met at Jack's party. It is right that the person who or whom we met at Jack's party called me. It's wrong that the trip was quite interesting that I took last week. It's right that the trip that I took last week was quite interesting. 2. Do not use both an object pronoun and a relative pronoun in an adjective clause. It is wrong to write that the person who or whom we met him at Jack's party called me. It is right that the person who or whom we met at Jack's party called me. It 
is wrong to write as I enjoyed the trip that I took it last week. It is right that I enjoyed the trip that I took last week. 3. The relative pronouns home and that are used to refer to people, but home is more common. Also, home is used mostly in writing and very formal speech, but who is used for both subjects and objects that everyday conversation and casual speech. The relative pronouns that and which are used to refer things, but that is more common. For omitting relative pronouns, in object pattern adjective clauses, relative pronouns are often omitted, particularly in speaking. For example, this person who or whom or that we were talking to implies that's the person we were talking to. Another example, the person who or whom or that we met in Jack's party called me implies the person we met at Jack's party called me. Another example, is this the book that or which you wanted implies, is this the book you wanted? Another example, when do I have to repay the money that or which I borrowed implies, when do I have to repay the money I borrowed? 5. Adjective clauses as objects of prepositions. People. Relative pronouns for people can be the subjects of prepositions. In this situation, the word order is different in formal and everyday English. Also, only whom or not who or that can be used to refer to people in the formal version. For example, the woman is right over there. You were talking about the woman. Informal, the woman about whom you were talking is right over there. The word every day. The woman who or that you were talking about is right over there. Or the woman you were talking about is right over there. It's wrong to say the woman about who you were talking is right over there. It is also wrong to say the woman about that you were talking is right over there. Relative pronouns for things can be the objects of prepositions. In this situation, the word order is also different in formal and everyday English. Also, only which not that can be used to refer to things in the formal version. Another example. The book is rather expensive. He referred to the book. In formal writing, the book to which he referred is rather expensive. Every day, the book that or which 
he referred to is rather expensive. Or, the book he referred to is rather expensive. It is wrong to say that the book to that he referred is rather expensive. Task 1. Combine the two sentences. Use the second sentence as the adjective clause. 1. The book was good. I read it. The answer is The book which I read was good. 留意要省略 It. Number two, I like the woman. I met her at the party last night. The answer is, I like the woman whom I met at the party last night. 留意要省略 Her. Number three, I like the composition. You wrote it. The answer is, I like the composition which you wrote. 留意要省略 It. Number four, the people were very nice. We visited them yesterday. The answer is, the people whom we visited were very nice. 留意要省略 them. Task 2. Combine each of the following pairs of simple sentences into one complex sentence containing an adjective clause. 大家可以按暂停制自己做一次然后写低答案。1. 1. The theft was committed last night. The police has caused the man. 2. The French language is different from the Latin language. Latin was once spoken throughout Europe. Number 3. You are looking upset. Can you tell me the reason? Number four, he had several plans for making money quickly. All of them have failed. Number five, the landlord was proud of his strength. He despises the weakness of his tendencies. Number six, this is the village. I was born here. Number seven, you push the key somewhere. Show me the place. Number eight, Paul was an old gentleman. He was my traveling companion. Number nine, a fox once met a crane. The fox has never seen a crane before. Number 10. The shopkeeper keeps his money in a wooden case. This is the wooden case. Now we check our answers. For number 1, the police had caused the man who committed the theft last night. Number two, the French language is different from Latin language, which was once spoken throughout Europe. Number three, can you tell me the reason why you are looking upset? 
the answers for number four is all the plans which he had for making money quickly have failed. The answers of number five is The landlord, who was proud of his strength, dispenses the weakness of his tenancies. The answer of number six is This is the village where I was born. Number seven. Show me the place where you push the keys. Answer so number eight is Paul, who was an old gentleman, was my traveling companion. Answer so number nine is A fox which had never seen a crane before once met a crane. The answer to number 10 is This is the wooden case where the shopkeeper keeps his money. Now, do some exercise and test for yourself. Bye! Exercise Combine the two sentences. Use the second sentence as the adjective clause. Number one. The book was overdue. I borrowed it from the library. The answer is. The book I borrowed from the library was overdue. Number two, I remembered the man. I met him at the convenience store. The answer is I remembered the man whom I met at the convenience store. Number three, I like the painting. You drew it yesterday. The answer is, I like the painting which you drew yesterday. Number four, the businessmen were very Kind-hearted. The newspaper reported them today. The answer is the businessmen whom the newspapers reported today were very kind-hearted.